Hello friends, welcome to this video on triangles. In the previous session, we discussed about the side 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 criterion or the SSS congruence rule. Today, we will discuss some facts related to this. Let's start with a question. By observing the diagram, answer which option is correct. Friends, look at the first option. In these two triangles, all the three sides are equal, but the corresponding sides are not equal. Side XY is equal to side LM, but side YZ is not equal to side MN and side XZ is not equal to side LN. Corresponding sides are not equal, therefore triangle XYZ and LMN are not congruent. So, this option is wrong. Now look at the second option. The triangles are same. Only their names have been changed. Because of which, their corresponding sides are equal to each other now. So, we can say that triangle XZY and triangle MNL are congruent. Therefore, this option is correct. Look carefully. The vertices of these two triangles have 1-1 one, one correspondence according to which these triangles are congruent. We can write similar names for these triangles which we can call congruent. For example, triangle ZXY is congruent to triangle NML. We can write more names like this. You may pause the video and try to write more names. That's it for today's session. Today we discussed some facts related to the side 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 criteria SSS congruence rule. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.